Hi, this is a short instructional video of how to configure the temperature parameters of the Keithley Model 2700 DMM switch unit. To configure the temperature parameters on the Keithley Model 2700, it's fairly simple. All we have to do is press the temperature button to select temperature. Press the little blue shift button. Notice shift comes up on the display. And then press temp because we're going to go into that menu. Units we have are three. If you hit the right arrow, three units are degrees Celsius, degrees Kelvin, degrees Fahrenheit. Let's choose degrees C. If you hit enter, it'll accept that. The next menu part goes to the sensor. Sensor right here, we have three types, but it's showing thermocouple. And it'll show thermistor, or you can select four wire RTD. Let's take a look at thermocouple. One of the most popular choices. If you hit enter when it's blinking on thermocouple, it'll ask you what type of thermocouple do you have? Well, we have a select few. K, T, E, R, S, B, N, J. Just goes around. If you were to hit enter now, it'll ask you what's the junction because on a thermocouple it gets a little tricky because you have to have a cold junction compensation. Now there are three other things to select there. If you select the right arrow it'll blink on whatever's there but this is internal. Internal means the cold junction compensation is on the scanner card. It's in the meter. It's automatic. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, it'll adhere to the specs very easy. If you want something a little more accurate, you can go to external junction. What I mean by that is maybe you have an ice bath or an external circuit that will read the temperature. You, you, do, you need to connect that to the scanner card and use that as the external junction. A little more tedious, a little bit more accurate. Then finally, there is simulated, SIM. Simulated is a best guess of what you think the junction temperature is going to be. If we were to hit enter on this, it says our default is 23 degrees C. What that means is that the connection inside the instrument on the card is that junction there we think is going to be 23 degrees C. In reality, in a standard office type environment, this instrument will warm up after about an hour to maybe 27 to 28 degrees C. So you have to be careful with simulated. It's very good for relative accuracy, but not absolute accuracy. Let's back out. Shift, temp, go back into it. We just selected all of that for thermocouple, so we'll <clears throat> now we will talk about four wire RTD, this type of sensor. The four wire RTD, we have, if you hit enter, several different types. If you hit the right arrow, you can go through them. The standard one, PT100, the D100, F100, PT385, PT3916. And wait, there's one more, user RTD. What this means is you can select user RTD on this front panel. If you have a different type of RTD that is other than the ones we just shown, you can use it, but you have to enter in the four parameters, the zero, alpha, beta, and delta parameters for that particular RTD. And keep in mind that that is only available from remote control. You can select user RTD from the front panel, but you can only set up those parameters through remote control, either GPIB or RS-232. So let's select, let's just hit exit again, and we gotta go through it, but there's four wire RTD, okay. Let's go to the next one, thermistor. Thermistor is like an RTD, but it's a little sh uh, less on the bandwidth, a little shorter. So we just hit thermistor and it'll ask you what type. Type of, we support three. We support a 5,000 ohm art, uh, thermistor, a 10K ohm, or a 2200 ohm thermistor. Hit exit, try that one more time. Enter. So let's just go back to standard thermocouple. 
go on, type K. That's how to configure anything from the front panel for temperature measurements on the Keithley Model 2700.